The sea gave up the dead who were in it, and death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. Then I saw a great white throne, in him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. And books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And whomever had their name written there was saved. And anyone not found written in the book of life was condemned. But before being condemned, each and every one of them were judged, according to their works of selfishness. Do you really think I was going to donate my clothes to that shelter? Are you out of your mind? Greed. Unfaithfulness. Pride. I don't know how to deal with you. You're a very difficult person. You always complain and complain and complain, never satisfied. You know what I think? I think you're the problem. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. And they were cast into the lake of fire. The devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. This is the second death. He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments. And I will not blot out his name from the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God.
and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. In the holy city of Jerusalem he will live. was like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Also, she had a great and high wall with twelve gates, and twelve angels at the gates, and names written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lord Jesus. And the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of the street, and on either side of the river, was the tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. The city had no need of the sun or of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God illuminated it. The Lamb is its light. But shall by no means enter it anything that defies, or causes an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. And the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. They shall see his face. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. <laughs> 